Yeah, well, let me just briefly say, um, Dana, that it, it really was a beautiful moment yesterday in Butler. And I think it was really important in terms of healing for this country. I don't think any of us will forget whether you love Donald Trump or not, where you were when you found out what had happened to him on July 13th. And that's a traumatic thing to happen to a country. And I can tell you, uh, when we got off the plane yesterday, I was a little bit emotional. And I got to sit right next to Helen Comparator, Corey Comparator's widow and his two daughters. And it was a really beautiful tribute. And I think it was important for Donald Trump to go back and create new memories for the people of Butler, Pennsylvania. And that's exactly what you saw yesterday. But listen, you're right. This uh, The polling would indicate that things are neck and neck. I can tell you there were over 100,000 people at that rally there last night. I have never seen a crowd like that. You couldn't even see standing on the stage how far back the, uh, the audience went. And I think that that shows you that there is continued enthusiasm and growing enthusiasm for Donald Trump. And I think as every day goes by, we are 30 days away from this election. People are really considering what kind of America they want to live in. Do you want to get back to a time where you have great economic policies, where you have more money in your pocket, a secure southern border and peace agreements instead of wars breaking out around the world? They remember, I think, uh, Dana, who brought them that. It was Donald J. Trump. And that's why I believe on November 5th he's going to be victorious in this race. Well,